<laughs> Good. How are you, love? God morning to you. This morning, we're going to talk about your money. We're going to have a really good conversation about your money. A serious come to Jesus meeting about your money. Okay? Can we do that? All right. Let's do it. As we do every morning on Boost this morning, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so grateful you're here. You know, I just love having these conversations with you every morning, Monday through Friday. And you can watch Boost Live at the Reverend Valerie Love Facebook fan page. And when you get there, click on the big box. There's a big box that says, click here, Boost Live. Under the box, it says Boost Live. You click there. You can watch live weekday mornings, Monday through Friday. You can always find us there live Monday through Friday. And you will always see the episode that we filmed that morning for the 23 hours. It's up until the next morning when the new show goes live. Also, over the weekend, it's there the whole weekend. Fridays, it's there the whole weekend. This week, I want to make a little announcement. This week is the last week that you'll be able to have full access to all the Boost recordings without um, membership. Starting Monday, we'll have membership for Boost, and we'll tell you all about that on Friday. So Friday, come real uh, That's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So tomorrow, you'll find all about membership for Boost and how you can enjoy all the Boost archives and all the ones that you've seen already. They'll still be available to you anytime you want to watch them. And uh, the new ones that start on Monday, you'll be able to watch it live uh, while we film and also for 23 hours after we film. And then the next day when the new episode goes live, that episode from the day before will go into the archives and no longer will be available for viewing on YouTube. That is so that we get a deeper commitment from our peeps who love to watch Boost and so that we inspire you to take action and so that we inspire you to have a deeper relationship and because we know that where you commit your time, your energy, your resources, that's where your heart goes as well. God, Christ said, uh, the, the Christ who walked this planet, who is the Christ incarnated in every one of us, each one of us. He said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Powerful, powerful morsel of wisdom. Let us prepare for prayer. And as always, we have wonderful prayers over at the Reverend Valerie Love at ValerieLove.com. So I want to take you over there. We're going to go on screen share and I'm going to take you over to one of our prayers that I absolutely love prayer to manifest your dream home. It is called Home in the Heart of God. Let us pray and then we'll dive into our home in the heart of God. So breathe, breathe deeply. Breathe. And as you inhale, inhale in every pore in your body. Inhale positive energy. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And from every pore in your body, exhale negative energy. Exhale, exhale, exhale what you no longer need. Through every pore in your body, inhale positive energy. Inhale, inhale, inhale positive energy through every pore in your body. And exhale. Exhale out any negative energy held in your being, any tightness, any stress. Exhale it out of all the pores in your body. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Let it go. It'll drop to the floor. Ask the angels to pick up all that unu unusable energy that you no longer have use for. Ask the angels to transmute the energy into something useful for the whole cosmos. Inhale in the third time because it feels so good. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Feel your lungs, fill your lungs. Inhale positive energy through every pore in your body. And exhale negative energy through every pore in your body. And we pray, Mother, Father, God, we are grateful. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am inspired. And my prayer this morning is for all of us, our children, our children's children, all the children of the planet, all the light workers that watch this show, all our YouTube peeps, all our Facebook peeps, all our social media, media peeps, our tweet hearts and our LinkedIn peeps. We pray for rich blessings on all Earth's children, everyone on the planet. 
We pray that everyone on the planet is blessed with rich prosperity, overflowing good, supernatural abundance. And we know that all we need do is know that God, you are right where we are. There is no distinction. There is no difference. There is no separation. There is only the fullness and the allness of God right where we are. And so we accept this right now. We feel it growing in our hearts, blossoming in our hearts, the oneness, the allness that is God. And we are thankful, grateful. We let it be. Take over here, Holy Spirit. Amen. And breathing, we move into our prayer, home in the heart of God. This is prayer for you if you are desirous of manifesting a beautiful home, a bigger home, a home more in alignment with your divine potential, or a home that is your own home, or a home where you feel at home. Some people are in a home where they do not feel at home. I used to live in that kind of experience. Thank you, God, not anymore. So this is for home, and home begins within, as we know. So in order to manifest a beautiful home on the outside, you have to manifest a beautiful home on the inside. And this prayer is pointed, directed at your heart, reminding you that you are home in the heart of God. Say it with me, I am home in the heart of God. God is the essence of my life. There is none other. God is the breath I breathe the air I take in, the love of my life, and the joy of my existence. There is only God here. I am home in the heart of God. I used to spend my time wandering about, aiming driftless, driftlessly, aiming, aimless, drifting aimlessly, wondering where I belonged, no more. Now I know where I belong. I reside in the heavenly kingdom of radiance and love within in the uplifted consciousness that is my joy, my peace, and my everlasting fulfillment, I am home in the heart of God. I release and deny fear, worry, doubt, and any and all questions about how I will be taken care of. God has already seen to that and more. I am home in the heart of God. I release how, why, why me, should, shouldn't, can't, and if. None of these are my concern or domain, because it is my Father's good pleasure to give me the kingdom, and it is my good pleasure to receive it. I am home in the heart of God. I dismiss, deny, and dispense with any and all discord of any shape or form, ill health, dis-ease, and the illusions of death, old age, or faltering body parts. I call these null, void, and dissipated into nothingness. I am home in the heart of God. In my home, there is only love, forever expanding, and all her blessed offspring, joy and peace, Profound tranquility of spirit, superabundant overflow of all good things, creativity and beauty, health and wealth, happiness and longevity, youthfulness and vitality. These are the blessings of spirit that grace my mind, my every moment, and my every step. I am home in the heart of God. My most perfect and beautiful home is now irresistibly drawn to me in perfect divine order and timing manifesting itself with plenty of resources and whatever is required to acquire and maintain it in perfect functioning, warmth, coziness, comfort, security, safety, enjoyment, happiness, elegance, excellence, and abundance. This wonderful heaven, haven is a home for me and mine that exceeds my wildest imaginings and my heart's most cherished desires only God could create this, and I accept and receive it as my reality now. I am home in the heart of God. Gratitude is my roof and cinders. Thankfulness is my doors and shutters. Celebration and good cheer are my walls and windows. Faith, love, and trust are my divine designs. Beauty and opulence are my floors and draperies. I rest in a bed of serenity, and I walk on a carpet of security. I eat in a kitchen of divine goodwill, and I bathe in a tub of abundance. I relax on a divan of good living and praise for my father. There is only love here. I am home in the heart of God. The wisdom and knowing of myself as richly blessed, bubbles up from spirit within me, the intuitive voice calling me ever higher and higher to the brilliant, glorious, and magnificent fulfillment and manifestation 
of the Creator's good purpose in forming me into flesh and breathing life into me. I'm deeply grateful for this home in the heart of God. I am deeply grateful for God's perfect and good gifts. I am deeply grateful for all this home affords me and mine. I let it be by the power of the Christ in me. Ashe, amen. And so it is. And breathing. Breathe, 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 breathe. Wonderful. You can find that prayer at ValerieLove.com and it's very easy to find simply in the search put manifestation. And you'll see the dream home manifestation prayer. That's a dream home manifestation prayer. A dream home like you've never had before. A dream home like you've never lived in before. You might have lived in some amazing, spectacular dream homes. Whatever dream home you live in right now, it can be even better if you desire. If that's your desire, use that prayer. Use it daily. Let's go to our Course in Miracles lesson today, shall we? Here we go. I love Google. OMG. I just love it. Google Hangouts. Okay, A Course in Miracles. And usually every morning we do A Course in Miracles. And I wanted to share with you, if you've never seen this site before, go to ACIM.org. ACIM.org. There's the book. That's what it looks like. Get it. A Course in Miracles. Let's come down here on the left side of the navigation. And we're going to go to Online Lessons. Click there. And we scroll down a little bit. Go to Calendar Daily Lesson. And that's where we go every morning as we review our calendar daily lessons from ACIM on Boost. Today is Thursday, March 27, 2014. However, whenever you're watching this, it's the perfect time for you. So we're not ruled by time. Time is a human construct. We simply use it for this day to get to the lesson for today. And the lesson for today is perfect for you, whatever day you're watching this. This is lesson 86. And these are the ideas for review today. We are reviewing two ideas, and that is Lesson 71 and Lesson 72. Lesson 71, only God's plan for salvation will work. What you've made up in your mind will not work. Only God's plan for salvation will work. It is senseless for me to search wildly about for salvation. I have seen it in many people and in many things. But when I reached for it, it was not there. I was mistaken about where it is. I was mistaken about what it is. I will undertake no more idol seeking. Only God's plan for salvation will work. And I will rejoice because his plan can never fail. Hallelujah. That ought to make you want to jump up out of your chair, out of your bed right now, throw off your pajamas and do a hallelujah dance. I rejoice because God's plan can never fail. I messed myself up. I was blind and now I see. I've looked for salvation in many things. I looked for it in money. I looked for it in houses. I looked for it in jobs. I looked for it in businesses. I reached out for it in people and husbands and saviors and all the boyfriends and girlfriends and lovers and all the looking for love in all the wrong places. But when I reached out for it, it was not there. I was mistaken about where it is, and I was mistaken about what it is. Well, thank God I can put all that aside right now because only God's plan for salvation will work, and I will rejoice because his plan can never fail. Thank you, God. These are some suggested forms for applying this idea specifically. So if an issue comes up today, if a problem seems to rear itself today, if someone says something to you today you don't like, if something comes up in your money world that doesn't look like supernatural abundance, overflowing prosperity and thriving, if something comes up with your children or your grandchildren that looks a little off kilter, let's use these. God's plan for salvation will save me from my perception of this. Say it with me. God's plan for salvation will save me from my perception of this. Woo! Thank you. Let's make it a little bigger. And we've got to really get at what that's all about. God's plan for salvation will save me 
from my perception of this. Remember, it's only your perception that's getting you in trouble. It's not the actual thing. The actual thing is not what you think it is. Because I never see anything as it is. I don't know what I'm looking at. And so when we understand that, then we know that God's plan for salvation can always save us. Can always save us because it's only my perception that's getting me into trouble. Please, God, save me from my own perceptions. Next, this is no exception in God's plan for my salvation. Say it with me. This is no exception in God's plan for my salvation. This is no exception in God's plan for my salvation. It may look like it is, but it's not. Number three, let me perceive this only in the light of God's plan for salvation. Just say that to yourself. Even if you don't know what God's plan for salvation is, even if you don't understand it, even if you don't know how it works, even if you don't know what you think you need to know about it, that is all okay. Simply say, let me, let me, let me, please let me, Holy Spirit, perceive. Let me perceive this thing only in the light of God's plan for salvation. Let me not perceive this thing in darkness, groping about in the darkness of my grievances, groping about in the darkness of unforgiveness, groping about in the darkness of, of my belief in separation, groping about in the darkness of the ego perceptions of what things are, of punishment and guilt and I did this to you and you did this to me. Let us not grope about in darkness. Let me perceive this only in the light of God's plan for salvation. Woo! Delicious! Delicious! Oh, I just want to just jump up and do a cartwheel down the street. <laughs> 72, holding grievances and it is an attack on God's plan for salvation. Oh my God, the only thing that's going to save you is God's plan for salvation. And now when we don't forgive, we are actually attacking God's plan for salvation. Don't do that. And I promise not to do that. Can we promise each other not to do that? Holding grievances is an attempt to prove that God's plan for salvation will not work. Wow. Holding, let us, let us digest that again. Holding grievances. Anything you are holding against anyone. Anything. Third grade. Yesterday. The divorce two years ago, Valerie, I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> your kid doing something crazy when they were in the sixth grade. Your mama did something to you and you're mad at her. Your daddy left you, you're mad at him. Your brother stabbed you in the back. Your granddaddy called you out your name. Your husband left you. Your girlfriend cheated on you. Whatever. Holding grievances. Any kind of grievance, any kind of hair standing up on the back of your neck when you think about a person, that's a grievance. I don't care how tiny it is. There are no small grievances. They're all the same. A grievance is a grievance because they're all equally destructive to my peace of mind. Okay? Holding grievances is an attempt to prove that God's plan for salvation will not work. Are you in an attempt? To prove that something God set up will not work. Not me. I don't want to be in that camp. Yet only his plan will work. Only God's plan will work. Boo. By holding grievances, I'm therefore excluding my only hope of salvation from my awareness. Can you imagine? That's why unforgiveness is so detrimental to your soul. When you hold a grievance, you are excluding your only hope. I am excluding my only hope. We are excluding our only hope of salvation from awareness. Wow. The only hope I had for salvation. When I don't forgive, I'm actually excluding it from my mind. Wow. I would no longer defeat my own best interest in this insane way. Please say that with me. I would no longer defeat my own best interest in this insane way. I would accept God's plan for salvation and be happy. Hallelujah. Let everybody off the hook. Let Forgive mama, forgive daddy, forgive Joe, forgive Susie, forgive the kids, forgive the grandmama, granddaddy. Forgive everybody. Forgive the boss, the people you work with. Forgive yourself and be happy. 
Specific applications for this idea might be in these forms. I'm choosing between misperception and salvation as I look on this. You make a choice. Either I'm going to misperceive or I'm going to be saved in this very moment. Either I will stay stuck in being misper in misperceiving, holding a grievance, being mad, trying to prove I'm right, or I will be saved. If I see grounds for grievances in this, I will not see the grounds for my salvation. So if I see a reason to get mad, I won't see a reason to be saved, or I won't see the grounds for my salvation, the foundation for my salvation. If I see grounds for grievances in this, I will not see the grounds for my salvation. So you get to pick. Either you're going to be mad at somebody, you're going to try to prove you right, you're going to try to make them pay, you're going to hold this little thing against them because you hope something bad might happen to them because something bad happened to you in the relationship with them. That's thought. That's ego thought. Nothing bad is ever happening to you. You are participating in everything. You're creating everything. You're drawing everything. You're a mighty, powerful reality creator. You're creating all of it. So nothing's happening to you. Nothing could happen to you. You're much too powerful for that. This calls for salvation, not attack. So when you see something crazy, turn on TV, you see the housewives acting up, okay, just pray on them. Pray, pray, pray. P-R-A-Y. That's what I mean when I say pray on them, not P-R-E-Y. <laughs> Sometimes people try to pray on each other. I'm talking about pray, P-R-A-Y. This calls for salvation, not attack. Pray, pray, pray. As you watch something on television, click past, you see hungry children. This calls for salvation, not attack. Somebody says something interesting to you. This calls for salvation, not attack. Someone cuts you off on the highway. This calls for salvation, not attack. The 7-Eleven lady is rude when you're getting your coffee. This calls for salvation, not attack. Your kid says, I don't feel like wearing that sweater. This calls for salvation, not attack. Your two-year-old falls out and has a tantrum on the floor in the middle of the supermarket. This calls for salvation, not attack. Your boo says to you, I don't feel like doing that, going on that vacation. We always go where you want to go every year. And this year we're going someplace I want to go. And we're going to go on a, 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 a bungee jumping trip. And you hate bungee jumping. This calls for salvation, not attack. Let's breathe. Soak it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. Soak it in. This calls for salvation, not attack. Let's have a real good conversation about your money. So yesterday I was watching one of my multi multi-millionaire mentors. Always get mentors in doing the thing that you want to do. So if you want to write a book, get a person who's successfully written books. If you want to set up a nice blog, get a person who's successfully set up a nice blog. If you want to be a great coach, get a person to coach you who's a great coach. If you want to be a great belly dancer, go find a great belly dancer and get lessons from a great belly dancer. If you want to become an amazing cook, go find an amazing chef or an amazing cook and learn from them. So as I build wealth and as I focus my energies and attentions on wealth, wealth building, wealth creation, abundance manifestation, prosperity, super abundant overflow, divine opulence, as I focus my attention on these as a point of creation and manifestation, as I focus the energies on these, many wonderful teachers are coming into my periphery. That's what will happen as you focus the energy, as you focus the attention on something that which you desire. Many, many, many things, that focused point of your energy, your attention, will now bring to it many, many, many uh, beings who can support you in manifesting that thing of which you are focusing the energy. So if you focus your energy and you want to Let's say you want to get a dog, a really cute, cute, cute little dog, a little puppy, and you think about what kind of puppy you want, and you go on puppy websites, and then you go on one puppy website, and here comes another puppy website, and then you find out about this puppy and the disposition of this puppy, and all things, and then you're walking down the street, and the flyer, you'll see a sign about puppiesrs.com, and you look on that, puppiesrs.com, and then you see that there's a Puppies R Us Facebook group, and then you join the Facebook group, and they're talking about puppies, and they're talking about training puppies and feeding puppies, and you see how it works? Because you decided to focus the energy on puppies. Now, if I bet you just because we're talking about it right now, you'll see a puppy today. <laughs> okay, so it's not that all this is happening by accident. All this is happening by law. So because you're such a powerful reality creator, anything, anything you focus the energy and attention and awareness on is going to start drawing to it 
that which aligns with it. That's the law. It's going to start drawing to it from all corners of the universe. It's going to just start drawing to it. That's why you don't ever have to go out and look for things that's backwards. All you must do is decide where you're going to focus your energies and attention and hold it there in, on what you desire to focus. So if it's love, hold it on love and speak love and think love and breathe love and then you'll find love here and love there and more love and love and love and love. If you'd like to focus the energies and attention on a dream home, then you look at dream home uh, books and you look at dream home magazines and you look at dream home websites and next thing you know you'll meet an architect for a dream home and you'll meet um, people who build dream homes and you'll meet green dream home pe builders. And it, that's how it works and that's how you build it. You have the power so you're focusing your energy and attention and wherever your attention goes energy flows just keep giving your attention now the problem that you have had up until now is that you have been focusing your attention in the inappropriate places for the manifestation of that which you desire you cannot focus your attention on lack limitation you don't have enough to pay the bills and expect to receive prosperity abundance riches and wealth they don't match they're not a matching vibration so wherever you are focusing your energy and attention that is what you are getting more of and when you focus your energy and attention with great feeling then that is reverberating and that is what is drawing more to it so if you focus your energy and attention on with great feeling on an envelope you know how when you owe money first they send you a yellow envelope then they send you a pink envelope then they send you a blue envelope right do you know anything about what I'm talking about <laughs> was that just my experience when my financial life used to be crazy and then they get real slick and they send you an envelope that looks like it's going to be a check and you rip the thing open and it says this is CRS collections receivables and we need you to pay fifteen hundred dollars by X day but if you pay this by this day we'll knock it down to seven fifty you ever get those kind of <laughs> just say amen or ouch Reverend Val I know what you're talking about okay let's keep it real all right so if you focus your energy and attention on that, you open the mailbox and you see all these, you see the first one, oh, and you feel the meltdown and you feel the pain inside you, you feel your stomach tighten up, right? Well, that's the energy focused, and it's focused in that moment with great emotion, emotion energy in motion okay so you focused on that pink envelope and you rip the pink envelope open or maybe you don't even rip it open maybe you do like I did and you were living as an ostrich in the sand and you just dip your, dip your head in the sand because you don't want to even face it and so you take the envelope and you just pile it with all the other envelopes of unopened mail that you don't want to look at I don't do that to myself anymore. I don't have piles of unopened mail anymore. I'm simply telling you what my experience used to be, and it was very painful, and, and it was disorder and finances. Don't do that anymore. Don't do that to yourself. Simply say, you know what? Whatever the news is inside this envelope, I'm going to be aware. I'm going to know what it is. Abs abs actually, um, um, at least because it has my name on it. If it has your name on it, wouldn't you want to know what your name is associated with? At least be aware doesn't mean you have to pay it in that moment, it doesn't mean you have to stress over it, it doesn't mean anything, it simply means I'm going to be aware, I'm going to own it, I'm going to take responsibility for it because somewhere along the line I signed my name on a piece of paper and now this piece of paper is coming back because I did not do what I said I was going to do when I signed my name on that piece of paper. That is it and now how am I going to get about rectifying this? That's all it takes. No guilt, oh I should have done it then, oh I feel so bad, oh I'm such a failure, I don't know what to do with myself, I can't get it right, no need to go into all of that, that is melt down and we do not desire meltdown. Meltdown does not help you to pay your bills. Meltdown does not help you to move to a higher place in consciousness and meltdown does not help you to become wealthy. What does create wealth is awareness of where you are, vision of where you desire to be, and simply mapping the difference. That's all it is. It's just that simple. And if you are not aware of where you are right now, there is no way that you can become wealthy simply no way throw out all your hopes of becoming wealthy it's not gonna happen if you don't open your mail right now wealthy people open their mail or they pay somebody to open their mail <laughs> that's just a fact of life so get with the program okay and so here you were focusing the energy and because you focus that energy let's call let's give the energy numbers so that you can really get this really so we can have it really clear in consciousness so let's say that when you are focused the energy and you're getting these bills in the mail um, let's say that the energy amps let's call them amps let's say that you were focused there 500 amps okay <laughs> you saw the pink button <laughs> okay you're having this experience at the mailbox okay 
and or you're bringing it in from the house and you look at, oh, I already know what that is. <laughs> and you just sit down, you're just exhausted. Okay, well, the, let's call that 500 amps. Then the next morning you wake up because you're a spiritual being and you're enlightened and you're a light worker and you want to do all your, your morning practices. And let's say you take um, 20 minutes for meditation. Oh, you're sitting in meditation, you're feeling very good, it's wonderful. And then you decide you're going to do some prosperity affirmations. Oh, I affirm my prosperity, I affirm my prosperity, I affirm my prosperity. And let's say that you feel so good, you feel really nice, and let's say that that's at 200 amps. Well, guess what, boo? You ain't going to get there because you got 500 amps of here over here and only 200 amps of, ah, oh, feel good over here. You've got to do like this. You've got to get at least 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 amps of good over here, of prosperity, abundance, thriving, wealth, manifestation, feeling good about your money, having right relationship with money, drawing more money to you, and over here, suck all the angst and fear and pain and suffering out of looking at the bills. Simply be neutral. Neutral. Okay, I look at this. Okay, I will do this and this. I will call this person and make this agreement, or I will um, set this up so for some automatic payment, or I will uh, call them and see if we can reduce it to the amount of money that I have available right now to direct to this. Whatever it is, the basis for all this is forgiveness. The basis for it is forgiveness. Okay. So I was watching one of my multimillionaires. So. I wanted to start with that. Now let's go deeper. I was watching one of my multi, and then I'm going to give you a tool. Isn't that wonderful? We love tools. Watching one of my multimillionaire mentors yesterday, and this is what he said. He said there are four OPs that he uses. Four OPs. Hmm. What is OP? Other peoples. Other peoples. Other peoples. He said, I use other people's products. And this is all to bring him wealth, riches, and abundance. But he's multi multimillionaire. He said, I use other people's products. Hmm, wonderful. That means in this day and age, you don't even have to create a product in order to be able to profit from that product. You can profit from what other people have created by sharing it, sharing it, talking about it, sharing it in some way, and you will get compensated for that. So I use other people's products. What other people have created, I think it's a great creation. It's wonderful. It solves a problem. It helps people. I believe in it. I'm going to share it. And when I share it, I'm going to receive compensation. Brilliant. So he said, other people's products. Second, OPE. He said, I profit. I gain wealth. I grow in wealth from other people's energy. Other people's energy. How does that happen? Same way, Trump Plaza. Let's go to Atlantic City. No, you're not going to gamble. You're going to get wealthy. <laughs> Let's go over to Atlantic City. You're in Atlantic City. You are going to Trump Plaza. My daughter told me they had a fire there recently, so we're going to pretend that it's all beautified after the fire. It's beautiful. It's all restored. It's wonderful, even better than before the fire. You're in Trump Plaza. Someone swings the door open. Welcome to Trump Plaza. Ooh, how lovely. You walk up to the front desk. You're going to check in and say, this lovely, your suite is waiting for you. They say, oh, we welcome. We were waiting for you. And here's your suite. And sign this paper. Sign this paper. Someone else does that. And then the concierge, they say, oh, we'll take care of your bags. What room are you in? And so they take care of your bags. They write down your room. We'll be right up with your bags. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. And then you get up to your room and you see that you like more towels because you're going to go to the pool and then you're going to come back. And so you call down to the front desk and you say, I'd like uh, two more towels and two more hand uh, washcloths. Oh, you're wonderful. We'll bring them right up. Oh, I'll take a couple of extra lotions too because you know how they put the beautiful lotions and the wash shampoo and conditioner and soaps and all that. I'd like a couple of more lotions too. I like this little spa lotion thing they have in here. Bring me a couple more of those. Okay. Put in your purse or whatever, right? So they, they, here comes a lady, ding dong, knock, knock, no, knock, 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 on your door. Uh, housekeeping, oh, thank you, here's your towels. This is another person, here's your towels, here's your lotions, enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, you get ready to go downstairs and you get, you know, all showered and whatnot and get changed and you're going to have a good time, you go to the bar. And you're sitting at the bar and the bartender and Trump, oh, welcome to Trump Plaza, how long are you going to be here and what do you want? And I think I'll have um, 
a shot of uh, uh, Louis. Yeah, $125. Okay, <laughs> let's make it good. If we're making up something, let's make it real good. So you have a shot of Louis, you're sitting there, and you look to the left, and there's you know a really nice person there. So you all start having a conversation, and and the wonderful bartenders are taking care of you. Okay, you decide. Mm, I'm getting hungry. So you and your new friend decide you're going to go to dinner together, and you go to dinner together in this wonderful Trump Plaza. And they, it's a five-star restaurant, and you're sitting there, and you want to have the Chateau Briand, and you want to have the the um, twice baked scallop potatoes with the garlic imported from mushrooms from Italy, whatever, whatever, right? With the sauce all on and all that kind of stuff. And oh, this is wonderful and delicious, and we're having this amazing dinner, and the waiter is amazing, and the maitre d is amazing, and the chef is amazing. Oh, semi couple. Oh, may I see the chef? And then the chef comes over as you're eating your meal. Oh, this is this is delicious. And and how did you do this? And how did you do that? Where I learned the flavors with this and that and the other. It's just beautiful. Okay, are you are you there with me? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Okay. So you're having this one wonderful experience and uh, you decide you're gonna go to a show. And so you and your friend, y'all have so much fun together, and you might as well uh, keep hanging, right? So you decide you're going to go to a show. You go to, they got this wonderful, wonderful show. It's a Cirque du Soleil show. So you go, and uh, you, tell, you tell your friend, you know what? I got the tickets because, you know, I'm feeling so good and so generous and so happy. They make me feel so good here. I just love life, you know, and I'm balling anyway. So, hey, come on, I got the show. So you give them something like $300 for these tickets for you and your friend, right? Two fifty, whatever the, call, the show is. And you'll sit down and you see this amazing Cirque du Soleil show, and it's Oh, and all kinds of stuff. Water is happening, and this and fire and all that. You know how Cirque du Soleil is. It's just amazing, right? So you just oh, 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 just beautiful. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Are you with me? Are you with me? Come on, keep, come, keep, stay with me, stay with me. All right, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. All right. And so you're here in the show, and it's wonderful. Oh, oh, is there an ovation at the end? Ooh, that was so good, wasn't it? Oh, yes. And so then you and your friend, uh, you maybe you have a, a little nightcap before you go to bed. You go back to the bar where y'all met, and you have another little shot of Louis, and you know it's on me. I'm feeling good, you know. And you two fifty, and you give the part bartender a fifty or a one hundred dollar bill. Let's make it good. You give him a C note for a tip, and he's real happy. He's like, oh, thank you, you know. Now, you go upstairs to your room. How many people served you at Trump Plaza that day? You never left Trump Plaza and you had all these experiences. You might have interacted with 20, 25 people from the bellhop, the doorman, the front desk manager, the person who checked you in, the housekeeper, the, the concierge, the chef, the bartender, the maitre d', the waiters, the water person, the bus boy, you or bus girl or bus person could probably be more politically correct. You might have met up with 20 or 25 people or and the people who watch, gave you the tickets and maybe all the people who performed in Cirque du Soleil that could have been another 100, 150 people you might have interacted with by the time it's all said and done anywhere from 50 to 200 people all in Trump Plaza all in the world that is Trump Plaza now here's a question I have for you did you ever see in all of that Donald Trump did, did you run into him anywhere probably not he didn't open your door. He didn't park your car. He didn't valet your car. He didn't check you in at the front desk. He didn't take you, carry your bags upstairs. He didn't bring you the towel and soap. He didn't serve you a drink. He didn't cook the meal. He didn't sell you the tickets to Cirque du Soleil. Where is Donald Trump in all of this? <laughs> but you've been in his world all this time, spending, you done probably dropped about $1,000 in Trump Plaza. You haven't left there. You have had the experience of your life. It's been amazing. Oh, it was worth that grand that you spent that day. Yet, you have yet to see Donald Trump. What does that mean? We don't know where he is. He could be home. He could be on a vacation. He could be looking at another real estate deal. We don't know where he is. What we know is that he set systems in place that run whether he's there or not, bringing him a tremendous amount of money. And he has ways to oversee these systems, and he has ways to monitor and grow the systems. Leverage. So let's go back to our multimillionaire lesson. Number one, OPP. 
other people's products. O-P-E, other people's energy. And that's Donald Trump is a master at using other people's energy, other people's energy. He has a massive amount of people working for him, creating amazing experiences for all the people who will give, gladly give their money to Donald Trump for the experience that all of Donald Trump's people bought to them. How many people are in the Donald Trump organization? I don't know. Maybe thousands. Whatever it is, he is using other people's energy to give you the experience you desire so that you will now honor that experience with your cash. Yes, it's energy exchange and rightfully done. Well done, Donald. Look, we got to give Donald a hand clap on that one. <laughs> Number three, OPM, other people's marketing, other people's marketing. So let's say that you're not real good at marketing things. Let's say that you're really not very good at marketing something but you've got a great product that you want to share with people and you know you have to really get the word out you know you want to really get the word out but you're not really good at doing that you could join with people who are really good at doing that you bring your gifts and talents to the to the uh, table and they do the marketing for you well you see that all over the internet you see that in many 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 different forms one form when you talk about other people's marketing one form that that's a very very easy form that this takes is being what we call an affiliate being an affiliate and, and really in an affiliate you use other people's products other people's energy and other people's marketing because the person who created this amazing product that you're now going to share it with making you an affiliate and receive income that means that person probably created some pretty good marketing that sells their own product and all you do is use it use it so that you can bring compensation and prosperity wealth opportunity to yourself I say wealth opportunity because just getting money doesn't mean you're gonna have wealth money and wealth are two different things that's for another conversation number four O P M other people's money we know that one right <laughs> We know that one, OPM, other people's money. So here are the four. So now before we review the four again, let's go to Damon John from Shark Tank. Damon John, I read a quote from him yesterday, another one of my multimillionaire mentors, I study him. Damon John said, when I'm investing, I'm more investing in the person than I am in the business or the product that the person is bringing and that was very critical for me because he wants to he's really looking at the person so when you watch Shark Tank which I love watching Shark Tank, Shark Tank when you watch Shark Tank you see that the sharks are looking just as much as they're looking at the business and the product that the person has created some brilliant thing that the person has created they're looking at the person is this the person I want to be in business with is this a person is this a person I believe in is this a person I can invest in and know I'm gonna make a great return if the answer to that is no but the product is great the sharks will say no I'm out if the person does not satisfy the sharks question of can I invest in this person even though the business might be great it's a no and we've seen it over and over and over and over and the sharks have even said that you know I like your product but you I don't think that you're the da, 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 da. I don't think that you're open to uh, being coached I think you think you know it all or I don't think I've, I've seen them coach many people on there who are entrepreneurs who had a great product a great business but they themselves were not in a place where the sharks wanted to invest in them so that's the the idea Think to yourself, am I a person who is investable? Not would other people invest in me, would I invest in me? Do I believe in me, Inc.? Let's go over the four again. So other people's product, OPP, other people's energy, OPE, other people's marketing, OPM, 
other people's money, OM, OPM. And OPM, other people's money, easy to do that. Easy, easy, easy to do that easy to do that. We use other people's money for all kinds of things. Use other people's money you, most of the time when you get a brand new house. And most of the time when you get a new house, somebody is, you're using six, maybe seven, eight figures of somebody else's money. They are giving you uh, 150,000, 300,000, a million, five million, whatever your home costs. It's all relative, doesn't matter. They are giving you their money on your word that you're going to make payments to them over the next 15, 20, 30 years and return their investment with extra. But you're going to put a little extra on top every month because you really appreciate them. Well, maybe not because you really appreciate them, but you know what? You're doing it anyway. It's called a mortgage. That's how we set the whole thing up and that's how it is for right now. Anyway, until we change it. Anyway, those four will bring you enormous wealth. Now, what do these four all equal? I'm going to leave you with this one word, and then I'm going to give you a resource, like a, a tool, like I promised. <sighs> all four of these equal, write this word in big, big, bold letters across the wall in your living room, if you want to get wealthy. If you don't, forget about it. Pass it on to somebody else that could use it. Click like on this vid and then pass it to somebody who can use it, who really wants to make a difference with their money, who really wants to get wealthy, who really desires and knows in their heart and soul and mind that they're supposed to be rich. Pass it to somebody like that. If you don't need it, if you're already rich, or if you already got it together, pass it to someone who could use it, okay? Here's the word, leverage. Write it in red letters across your wall, leverage, 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 leverage. Without leverage, you will never be wealthy. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's go to the gift. Ta-da! Oh, wait a minute. We got a ta-da. <laughs> I like that one. The gift to go to WealthyLightWorker.com, love, and there you will get 22 secrets millionaires know about money that you don't. If you knew them, you'd probably be a multimillionaire already. So this is 22 secrets about uh, millionaires know about money that you don't. It's a free report. It's my gift to you. Go there, WealthyLightWorker.com. This has been a blast. Has it been good for you? It's been good for me. <laughs> I'm Reverend Valerie Love, and I really pray and, and really, really pray and hold within my knowing, in my inner being, and in my heart and mind that you are blessed, richly blessed by our Creator God, that you are wealthy, you are abundant, you are prosperous, you are thriving, you are healthy, you are happy, you are energetic, you are living your soul's desires, you are living your destiny, and you are loving every minute of it. You have a passionate, joyful life, and all the people around you are supported by your country contribution to their life and you are supported by their contribution to your life. I love you. God is in love with you. Not a thing you can do to change it. Visit me online at ValerieLove.com. Peace. Mwah! Have a beautiful day. Yay!